I was going to make a mallet. But to make a mallet, you need to make a tapered hole. And that's a hassle. So I need a tool to make a tapered hole. A tapered reamer. And that will be my entry for the Toolmake 2016 contest. So in order to make a tapered reamer out of this piece of steel, I need to draw the shape of the reamer. I need to draw a taper. And then I need to draw a little bit of a stem that will go inside the drill. So, this is the shape that I now have to cut out using my angle grinder. I'm not usually a metal worker. This is pretty hard to do and it takes some time. So here you can see the taper. Next I cut out the stem that will fit into the drill, which I've done. And now we need to round that off a little bit so that it actually fit into the chuck of the drill. So now we need a cutting edge on the side of the tapered reamer. A lot of grinding. This will take some time. I will not show all the footage of that. You would be bored to death. I think you'd slip into a coma if I showed you all of that. Some more sharpening. Here you see my sharpening board. This is actually a, a board to which I glued a number of different grids of sandpaper, all wet and dry sandpaper. And after the sharpening, now we're starting a mallet project. Here you see me working on a piece of poplar that actually will yield me two heads of small mallets, let's say kids mallets. So we drill a hole across the mallet head. Right now the hole is not yet tapered. That will be the next step. And now the fun part. I'm reaming out the hole to actually create the taper.
I think I have found the fastest way to taper a hole for a mallet. Try that with a chisel. And of course our mallet needs a little handle. So another bit of poplar and we'll make a handle. And of course this handle has to have a tapered section that has the same taper that is in the hole of the, of the head of the mallet. So we're starting at the big end and the big end is of course wider than the narrow end. I need this measurement to make sure that the handle actually has the right size. And some more measuring. Now we measure the small end, the narrow end of the mallet head hole. Is that a word? A mallet head hole? Well, it's a mallet head hole. And as you can see, I have to do some more turning to get down to that size. So the first thing I do is make the entire handle that size, otherwise it won't fit through the hole. And then as a final step, I will create the taper into the piece of the handle that will actually sit inside the head. And now we fit the handle inside the mallet. Pretty good fit and we sand off the excess. And there we have it, a little mallet with a tapered hole made by a reamer, which is my entry in the Toolmake 2016 challenge.